says in Romans chapter 3, verse 10, As it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. But what does righteousness mean? Are we righteous? The word righteousness appears in the Bible many times. It is synonymous with the words like correctness, blamelessness, or innocence. Basically, righteousness means being sinless in God's eyes. But hear this. The Bible says we humans are not righteous. It says that all people are sinners. That includes you and me and everyone we know. Even people we admire and look up to and all who walk on earth are all sinners. In fact, the earliest sinners according to the Bible are Adam and Eve. They sort of passed their sinfulness unto their children. We know Cain was the first to commit murder when he killed his own brother Abel. From then on, generation after generation, man has passed on this sinful nature. The Bible says, you are a sinner. And it says in Romans chapter 6, verse 23, the consequence of sin is eternal punishment in hell after death. That's right. Our consciousness does not end the moment we stop breathing. The Bible tells us that eternal destruction awaits us in hell. But why is hell the consequence of sin? Isn't it too much? Well, we have to understand that God who created the universe has standards of good and evil. He is righteous and just that He wouldn't let sin enter heaven. Basically, hell is God's prepared place for the unrighteous. That's you and me. All are bound to hell. But here's the most wonderful thing that God has ever done. Even though God hates sin so much, He made a way for us to be saved. Because of His love for us, He gave His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, to die on our behalf. Around 2,000 years ago, He came to live here on earth. He lived a perfect and sinless life. In other words, Jesus was righteous unlike us. When He was crucified and killed, He sort of became our sacrificial lamb like the ones offered by the early Jews to God so that their sins could be forgiven. Jesus, the only righteous man, died so that we could have a covering of righteousness we could never otherwise have. Jesus is God's greatest grace. Truly, by His wounds we were healed. By His death, we became alive. Jesus died on the cross so that our once broken relationship with God can be restored. Now, I may not know you personally, but I sincerely pray that you do not miss your chance of having Jesus as your Savior. God loves you so much that He gave His only begotten Son to die for you so that you won't have to suffer in hell. May you choose to believe and trust in Jesus' power to save. Dear friend, I may not know who you are, where you're from, and whatever device you are watching this video on. But if you are sincere in wanting Jesus to save you from hell and give you everlasting life, you may follow after me in this prayer. Dear God, I admit to you that I have sinned in the past. I realize that I am a sinner and I need your salvation. Thank you for giving your son Jesus, who willingly took the punishment that I deserve so that I could be saved. I believe that you have raised him from the dead. Dear God, I believe in his power to save me from my sinfulness. I now receive Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. Amen.